In a new lawsuit, a photographer who worked for the Detroit Athletic Club says her supervisor bombarded her with sexual advances. She also claims that when she reported the issue, she lost work with the club. Rod Maloney got his hands on the lawsuit today and got the club's reaction. The Detroit Athletic Club is not fond of headlines. It's a very high-end club, more than 5,000 members, hosts a lot of high-end get-togethers, parties and the like. But it's not those events, it's the management around them that has brought the Me Too movement to its front door. And they're not exactly thrilled. Cybel Kodish is happier behind the lens. This is one of her social media cover photos. But she's obviously talented, having won a $25,000 Kresge Foundation Visual Arts Fellowship. Here's her picture from that. She's published pictures in Rolling Stone, National Geographic, shot national album covers. But her day job paid about $70,000 a year, taking event pictures for the DAC. Her boss, now retired newsletter editor Ken Voiles, who is married. Cybel's attorney Jonathan Marco says Voiles wouldn't take no for an answer. He was obsessed with her and when she complained through an intermediary, through a board member of the DAC to uh, about this, Mr. Voyles pulled all of her work himself. Marco included love letters, poetry and pictures of packages Voyles allegedly sent Kodish in his complaint. When he tried to lure her into his private office after ha uh, having uh, alcohol and told the person he wanted to do something quote very bad to her, he told that to the bellhop. She said, no thanks, I'll see you back at work. The DAC's Ted Guillory sent local for the following statement, quote, the allegations with respect to the DAC are without legal merit. We intend to vigorously defend this lawsuit. Many of the statements alleged in the complaint are inaccurate and false. However, we do not intend to argue this in a public forum. Cybel Kodish did not appear at today's press conference. Uh, in the meantime, um, the, uh, we have put in a phone call to Ken Voiles, uh, hoping that perhaps we could get a comment from him. We left a message. Someone at the other end of the phone took our message and our phone number, but we never did hear back from him. Back to you. Uh, any idea how long she worked there, Rod, or how long the alleged harassment went on? Well, I can give you the information on the alleged harassment. It, it supposedly started in 2017 and then ended at the beginning of this year. Yeah. So it looks like about 18 months' time. Yeah. All right, more to come. Thanks, Rod.